hey guys welcome back to my channel it's november the 8th and today blood mark come out today and i am super excited because if you know you know i love me some legend born i just recently did a reread of legend born like three days ago and it's basically to refresh my memory because when i first read legend born it was like the ending of 2021 the ending of 2021 is when i read legend born for the first time and I forgot everything that happened so when I reread well I listened to it the audiobook and I read some of it so it was kind of interchangeably I didn't remember half the stuff that happened like I honestly did not remember half the things that happened in the book but some parts I did remember and I was like oh, okay well yeah that happened and I remember that but to today blood mark comes out and I am super excited so we're here at books me right now and we're about to walk in and get my book I placed the order online for it because I did not want it to go looking around books a million end up buying like 500 other books to go with it so i'm bringing you guys along with me inside to grab my order and we're gonna go home and get into this reading vlog and if you're not already subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you like comment and let me guys know if you read legend born if you're not you know you should and if you did let me know your reviews and how you feel and are you gonna read blood mark as well i am so freaking excited right now and i've never been this excited about a book release and i think charm actually came out today the um part i think it's like the fourth book in the crave series i think it's crave crushed um court and charm so yeah charm is like the fourth book in the series and it came out today i'm trying to bet if i want to get that and if i do get that that means i'm gonna end up walking around books a million and yeah but we're gonna head and end this right here and go ahead and go in books a million baby you could keep me going cause you've been everywhere let me take up all the love you're showing i need it more than air and you know that I we have secured the goods i got my copy of black mark we get in the car we're gonna take it out and all right so as we're back in the car i've got my order and we're gonna look at the cover for the first time because i only see it online and i am super excited oh my god obsessed like look i am so happy i cannot wait to read this i cannot wait to dive into this book oh my gosh the cover it has the blue with the two but mark on the side i am so excited to read this so we're gonna go ahead and head home and dive into this book and dive into this reading vlog so you guys can get my thoughts this video will be spoiler free at the beginning and at the ends of where i might put some spoilers in here and let you guys know what i think about it but let's go ahead and head home all right guys i'm home and i'm about to sit right here and read as much as i can for the rest of the day because I am not moving a muscle. I'm going to order DoorDash for something to eat. And I'm sitting right here and reading this bad boy right here. But we're just going to go ahead and dive right on into it. Suffocating, you could be the one to help. But my issues are nauseating. I don't want to bring you down. I just want to be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. That's something I'm proud of. I wish we were living in my dreams. Cause in another world, you'll come with me and we'd be out of sight, out of mind. Driving windows down with your hand in mine. Out of sight, out of mind. Baby, you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. 
And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around But my life is so complicated Alright guys, it's the next day and I'm in my car And I was waiting on my cousin while I was reading I'm on page 51 And I just really, it just really clicked to me that Nick dad framed Sal mom First, and saying that she opened the gates to let the demons in when it really was him and that is crazy and oh my god I didn't even think I did at the end of Legend Boy I didn't even think about that that didn't even cross my mind until they just brought it up here that is crazy so that means his mom was innocent this whole time and Nick dad in order to cover his behind he lied and said it was Sal's mom cause you, she used to be his king maid but I'm going to keep reading and I'm going to let you guys just, I'll be back to check in with you guys as I get further along in this book. I don't want to bring you down. I just want to be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just want to love something about me. See something to open my eyes. Don't want to be the only one with the house key. Have something I'm proud of. We were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Drop your windows down with your head in line Out of sight, out of mind When I'm dreaming of you here for me Out of sight, out of mind guys i'm currently at work let me i'm gonna turn to make sure no hippo is being exposed but why is why did they just blame sal for nick dad's doing i am baffled like why would y'all blame him and he's been nothing but loyal to y'all like he's been nothing but loyal i am baffled i am so pissed like why would you blame him <sighs> I'm going to finish reading this to see how Brie reacted to this because I just, I cannot. And I'm going to let you guys see what the next sentence is on the next page say. Excuse my nail. I broke a nail because I just, <sighs> we're going to read this next page together. <sighs> Sex, you better be on your feet. why must i cannot right now like i absolutely cannot why oh my god why are they acting like they don't know who she is the disrespect the disrespect the disrespect they're giving my good sis right now it is <sighs> the fact that she has the power to rain down h-e double hockey sticks on them it's just really throwing me off how they are trying her. Why did first of all, why would they lie and say Sal did it when it wasn't him? Like, why why won't you just be honest? Why? Oh my god. I am so much disgraced right now. Like, I am in so much disgrace right now. And I am so sorry for this bad lying. Like I said, I am at work and I'm recording off my phone because you guys had yeah oh my god i'm in so much distress right now like send help all right guys it's the next day i'm off work i'm back home and i'm on part two and we're gonna recap last night because the way that i was so triggered by this book is ridiculous it is downright ridiculous how how triggered i was just by part one this book is so, just by part one, the, the emotion that it drove out of me. I'm gonna get, I just wanna automatically just say, here, you get a five star. Just, just off the emotions that it drove out of me. Because I was yelling at this book as y'all, like, 
this is the way that oh my god the day lied on foul i'm just gonna hit and we just like there's no way that this, this video can be spoiler free because it's the second book in the series but the way that they lied and try to cover up nick's dad lord davis opening up those gates for the the the, the shadowborn and then trying to put it off on sale and make it seem sound like sale was a traitor like how do you how do you call this man that been defending everybody behind a traitor i am i am downright baffled i, I was so baffled like and is he just <sighs> y'all we're gonna continue on reading because my nerves my nerves my nerves my nerves because i want to fight these people like why are you lying on my good bro like why are you lying on him like i don't like it but we're gonna proceed on reading again i'll check back in with you guys somewhere in the middle of this book sorry about the glare in my glasses but i got my light on because it's getting dark outside but this book is so good the way that it touched on serious issues in the black community it is just amazing i'm at the part where brianna has been captured basically by the um raging whatever they are the elite people that's over the um legend born she's been captured by them and they're in a room and she's basically telling them like the only reason why you haven't gave me the crown is basically because i'm black and not once have you addressed the issue as to how I became the heir of King Arthur and I became the heir of King Arthur by rape. Like, you feel like I don't deserve this power because I'm black. And as always, one of the people say it's not about race. And as African American, you know people that yell, it's not about race, it's not about race. It's exactly, it's about race. It's purely about race. You just don't want to have a conversation about how racist you are. But the way that this book touch on that topic it is so amazing and i just i just love it i just love this book so i just love this series not just this book but this series so much because it touched on so many things that as an african-american myself that i'm just like wow yeah i seen that like i i i figured that that what the issue was when they kept trying to do stuff secretly they didn't want it to be known that she was King Arthur from the jump. When that they told her to keep it a secret, I just I knew what it was because I was like, oh yeah, they don't want anyone to know that they have a black girl as their king. And Victoria tore. I just felt like she was just on some grimy stuff because why would you go behind everybody back and call them? And then when the conversation come up about Lord Davis being a traitor that he is. Then you want to mention, oh, well, yeah, I called them. You know, I called them and they told us to sit still and just wait and don't do nothing. Like, girl, you didn't even give nobody time to adjust to the fact that Brie was King Arthur. You gave nobody time to do nothing. You just felt some type of way because she was black and Nick wasn't King Arthur. Like, it's just, this book is amazing and I absolutely love it. And... Yeah, but I'm going to continue to read before I have to go to work. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Probably tomorrow, most likely, because it's about 8 o'clock. Yeah, it's 5, so I'll probably talk to you. If not, if I don't talk to you guys in the next hour, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, Bookish Babe. So, we're finished reading Black Mark, and it's like a couple days later. And I had to take a couple days because... The end of the book kind of shook me a little bit because why, why? Girl, Sal tried to save Brie life and end up turning full on demon. And he wanted my good sister dead. Like he, he, he's basically tried to kill her at the end. But you know, you, 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 but yeah. Um, we just don't give credit where credit do. Miss Stacy did her thing with this book. Like she had me feeling all the emotions and I'm sorry if y'all hear them kids in the background. They outside playing in the park in the back of my house. So, disregard them. But, 
she did her thing with this book like she really did her thing like i was mad because first of all this book touched on so many topics that resonate in my spirit as a black female the way that brie was treated and racially basically racially profiled they felt as though she didn't deserve her title because she was black and it was basically your ancestor may have got aped and that's how you end up with being the scion of arthur but that ain't our fault like we don't care we ain't gonna apologize for it you just was a mistake and it just it bothered my spirit so bad because i was just like wow like it don't matter if she's black purple green orange or yellow she's venturing in something that she, like she's 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 taking on something that she didn't grow up with she didn't know nothing about this she she didn't ask for this she didn't know about this her mother didn't even tell her that she was a, a witch basically a blood crafter like she did not tell her any of this so she was just left in the blind and had to figure it all out on her own now let me say now my good sister did a damn good job but it is just that the way she was treated blew my mind it blew my mind because like i said i it, it's just like trying to explain something to people some people who don't understand but some that that's how it is trying to explain this book because she was treated so badly but one person that stood up or three people that stood up beside her was her best friend Alice, Sal and William. Now them three was right or die for her. And I really love that little found family that they had going on because Alice she didn't know nothing about this world either and she kind of was through in it to through in it because of Bree. And girl this book was just so good like i just i just want to open the crack it back open and reread it again it was just so amazing like i don't even like you guys seen all my reactions like i don't even know what else to say to you it was just amazing i just and then oh my god let me see y'all when she found out that um Erebus, that's his name. Erebus was actually the hunter and that he wasn't really out to kill her, but to, he had felt the need to protect her line. And when he felt like they asserted, when he felt a surge of their power, he felt like they was in danger and he was really out to protect them, not to harm them. But he wanted Brie at her strongest so that when she does die, all the power is going to come to him and he can take back over the Shadowborn side. Just read this book, y'all. If y'all haven't read this book, just read it because I promise you, I can sit here with y'all and we can go on all day long about this book because I, I didn't know I needed this book until I read it. And I cannot wait till the third book come out because I want to see how Brie grows in that book and how she faced the diversities that she's facing and the challenges that she's facing. I wonder if Arab is going to train her to be a badass like she already, like even more badass because Brie stood her ground. I'm saying one thing about Brie, she stood her ground in this book. And yeah, yeah, she wanted them. She stood her ground. And I absolutely, I, I really enjoyed this book, guys. I gave this book a five star just as well as Legendborn because I love me some Legendborn. And yeah, but I'm going to end this video right here because me sitting here, we're going to be having this conversation all day about this book all day because everything is just going to keep popping back in my brain to reiterate with you guys about this book, how good this book was. But Miss Tracy, baby, you did your thing on this book and I can't wait to see and read part three. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.